Hi and welcome to this part 6 of the Enhanced E-Commerce series where we'll look into how and why we should implement Google Analytics Enhanced E-Commerce. In this part 6 we'll look at retrieving, adding and everything regarding to the cart when users go in and modify the items inside the cart. Again, this is kind of technical. If you need help, just go to java.com or write to this email you see here and we will look into helping you. So what, what is this? Well, the thing is, not everything the user puts into the, uh, into the cart will end up in their the products they actually purchase. And that is because sometimes some things go wrong in the cart. Like they might remove products, they might actually modify the quantity so they have more products uh, than you expected in the first place. And this just gives a lot of very interesting uh, data that you can use to improve your webshop really, really good. So the guide here is, you know, hashtag card in the end, and we'll just uh, go to the Google site here and look at it. So what you want to do is, is here is looking at this section here. What they do here is every time that something is modified, they will they will make this card here. They e-commerce, you have the currency code as you used to, and then you say add, and then you actually show exactly what products you have been adding. And so if you, this could be used on a product page. So if you are a category page, so if I go on a product page and I want to add it to the cart, well, I go in here and I say put to cart. And you, you give the data, the name, ID, and so forth, the product. If you go in here, you can actually see the, the required data to fill. And, and, and this is, again, uh, the, the Google documentation for it. Um, so this is what you sent. And this is just like you normally would using a data layer where you put it. Uh, it's just like you're done with the clicks and the impressions of uh, recommendations and products. In TechMender, it's it's a little bit simple also. We go in here, say new tag, and just call it whatever. I'm just going to call it GA e-commerce uh, adding product. And I'm going to pick universal analytics. And tracking ID, what I do is here, I use a macro as explained, I think it was in part four of this series. And dragging type is event, and category is e-commerce, as they will write here. And event action is add to cart, like this one here. And uh, then the next one here, enable enhanced e-commerce features. Well, this is down in more settings. E-commerce features, you're gonna enable it here. Enable the data layer. And uh, basic settings, well, go in here to use to basic configurations. Document path, I think it's document path, right? Yep. And then the, the event, uh, you go in here, find rule, and you say, all right, event equals add to cart, equals have to spill correctly. And we have event here, event equals add to cart. And now you're done. Actually, this is all you need. And you're, now you have both the data layer added, as we did here. And TechMender, we've done already here, and now you're good to go. The same, it's, it's, it's exactly the same when you remove, remove a product. This code is usually uh, placed on the card page because that's where you remove products. And the only difference is you have remove from card, remove from card here, and you remove, you, 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 you use remove and stuff add here in the data layer. So that's, that's how it works. It's actually pretty simple. Um, it's also worth when you change the quantity, just remove and, and add as you go along, and that'll be good. So this is how you implement uh, the adding and removing of products in the cart. And uh, just to finish up, uh, you can see the full guide here uh, with everything with, regarding e-commerce on Java.com. You go to the resource link in the top, and uh, then you will see the whole guide. So thank you. Uh, I hope to see you in the next uh, part of this video series. We will look at some more features of enhanced e-commerce.